Okay, let's make a workspace. Uh, let's get rid of the quad. Right, we're starting a new project. We're gonna build a roll-off observatory for our Mead 14 inch. It's sitting upstairs and it's been there about five years. So we thought we've got some materials lying around. We can't go out and get much, but we can use what we've got. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a frame first. We've done some careful drawings and um, we're gonna clad it in the same roof materials as what is on the observatories behind me. And yeah, all good. And we're going to weld it up in a minute. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> so we're going to go into the workshop. Quick scoot around the workshop here. We can do everything here on site. So we can weld. We've welded up all the roofs here. So um, uh, in a past life, I used to do some fabricating um, and um, done a zillion hours of welding. So yeah, we can do it all here. We don't need any help from anyone. And we've got Sam here as a lucky helper. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. And here we are. We're gonna use a 50 mil galvanized box section. We've got four wheels. We've got a door behind me. And out there, we've got our sheet, our cladding sheets. So the plan is to do a 1.4 meter square box basically with a slightly um, elevated roof on one side so it drains off. We're going to the door. When you open the door, the building can roll back. There are two rails which we're going to put on these beasts down here. Um, and it'll all be concreted down. And within the three days, this will be uh, a working piece of art. We need two at 1.4 metres, two at 1.3 metres, and we make the base. And we need, um, no, we can use them. Yeah. We need. Obviously, welding in shorts and uh, inflammable t-shirts, not the... Uh... <laughs> Can't condone. Wearing holy gloves. Can't condone any of these actions. But there you go. This is the real world. Right, so, what we're gonna do, we've got our eight wheels, uh, four wheels, sorry one on each corner of the base, and then we use angle lines. These are 90 degrees. Um, and we're gonna bolt these to the frame. I could just weld them on, but if we bolt them, it gives us a bit of adjustment. So if we're not quite square, we can actually move the wheels a, a fraction just to get it rolling very nicely. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use what they call rib nuts. So these are threaded, um, nuts that get crimped into the frame so you drill the hole drop these in crimp this base up with a tool and it gives you a really solid so basically it'll be like a nut and bolt and yeah they use it in cars they're used a lot and on metal framework they're obviously used a lot so that's how we're going to hold the wheels to the frame Perfect. Perfect. Bish bosh. Right, so. All we do now is we get our tool. And so these 
screw on. Goes into the hole. And then we crimp that together. Unscrew the thread. And that is bolted up solid. So, there you can see our rolling frame, which will be on two angle runners. Uh, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to put the end of the back wall on, which is going to be a solid wall. Then we'll put the side frames in. Then we'll put the door frame in and then cut out the piece where the door, where it's going to roll around the pier. What we're doing now, we've made our back frame, or our front frame, this is where the door's gonna go. We've got our base, so now we need to get it, uh, get the front welded on, making sure it's all square. And the way we're gonna do that is by using that, which is a proper formed right angle. Uh, builders use. Right, so that's nice and upright. And then if we do the same over this side, I'll put a couple more welds in there first. We've got all the frame in place. So the bar at the bottom here will be, um, that'll be cut out. So once the door is put into place and fixed, we'll cut that bar out so it can roll around the pier. Um, but obviously we can't move that yet because uh, we need the frame to be fairly rigid because it just makes it easier to work with. So as you can see, we've all, all assembled, all welded up all done. The roof, we put a 100 mil pitch on the roof. Um, so all we need to do now is, next job is get the rails um, in place, concrete into the floor, and the groundwork's done. And we're good to go. Did a few things last night, which I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. So um, just to explain what I did. I've made the frame 
but we're going to sink into the ground um, and we get dark in a second. There we go. Okay, yeah. So the frame's all made, just got a little bit more welding to do, and then we're ready to go and prepare the ground. Day two. Okay, so let me show you what I did. So what I've done, I've made a frame um, out of, as you can see, quite chunky metal. I think it's about four by four. And that is gonna, all we need to do now is take that up the top where it's gonna go, which we'll do on the back of the trailer, level that, uh, and then concrete it in because that's all ready to go. The, the rails are all welded on. They're galvanized still. So that's all welded on, all ready to go. And as you can see, rolls nice and easy. So we don't even need the observatory up there. We can do all of this now without the observatory. Um, we can just leave that down here, ready, ready to clad it. So, so this bar uh, will be cut out once it's all in place. So once the door's in and, and the, uh, the obs is all set in place, we'll take that bar out. Because obviously that's got, the pier will be in the middle. So that has got to slide around the pier to roll the roof off. If you enjoyed our video, uh, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for our next instalment. Press the like button. Thank you.